Welcome back to the Late Night Vision Show. This is episode 145, and uh, we are coming again with one of the the series that we started last week, but we're calling it the No Show Shot Show. And uh, we want to bring you all the latest breaking news in the world of night vision and thermal optics. And before uh, we get into the show and we have our our featured guest uh, introduction, want to bring in Jason Robertson, owner of Outdoor Legacy Gear, title sponsor of the show. What's going on, bud? <laughs> You always laugh when I say that, Nothing. but it's true. <laughs> I, I do. I always love the, the title sponsor. That's right. No, I'm doing good. Hans, uh, glad to be here. Hey, folks, I want to remind you all of one quick thing. Uh, last week uh, on episode 144, we announced a big giveaway on the show. Uh, if you want to know what that's all about, go back and listen to the show, episode 144. 44 of the late night vision show you can learn all about that giveaway uh signups will end on uh, i said january <laughs> february 15th at 5 p.m texas time yep. and the winner will be announced on episode 146 on thursday february 18th but enough about that Let's introduce who we've got with us this week. Uh, we have Mr. Tim Dore from Envision. He is, uh, I'm going to let him give us his title. I'm going to say that he's uh, the, the sales rep over there. But but Tim is the uh, man of many hats at Envision, and he is a, a super guy. He is my sales rep and a great guy to deal with. Tim is from Shelburne, Massachusetts. Uh, that's a western part of the state. Uh, he's been married for eight years. He's got three kids. Henry is five, Grace is three, and Evelyn is 10 months old. And uh, I had the pleasure of uh, speaking to one of his kids one day. We were on the phone, and I think he had taken off work a little bit early. And I'm going to take a guess here and say that that was Henry that's five, because this kid was a talker, and I guarantee he's going to be just like his dad, a natural-born salesman. Tim, welcome to the show. Yeah, it certainly was Henry. He probably closed more deals than I did. So, yeah, he's a good sales guy. We go places. He likes to talk to people. Yeah. So yeah. The, the, the kid... Kids never met a stranger, I can tell, because Tim had me on the phone, and uh, he goes, hey, listen, he's going to want to talk to you, mm -hmm. and he's going to want to tell you bye before you get off the phone, and I yeah. did. It was, he was a cool kid. He was very sweet, and he was a talker, though. Yeah. Well, we, uh, yeah. we had the pleasure of meeting you, Tim, at the SHOT Show, uh, 2020 SHOT Show, right before the whole world was shut down because of the pandemic, but I want to, uh, first of all, I know Jason wants to, we want to congratulate you on your back-to-back -back, uh, titles of the best high-end thermal scope, uh, that being the Envision Halo LR, which is the defending champs again and winning that title uh, again this year. So congratulations on that and uh, of, of having that scope. Um, you know, thank you very much. Yeah. We appreciate the award. Yep. So. And uh, and we appreciate. I know Outdoor Legacy uh, got an award, a special award from Envision, and uh, we really appreciate appreciate that. If you haven't seen that, yeah, uh, it's trophy a it's go a Golden Halo golden award. Halo. And I'm not going to lie to you, I've already been checking the gold prices and seeing if I could <laughs> melt that thing down. But unfortunately, I think it I think it may be some spray paint, and and I don't think there's a lot of real gold. But yeah. I, I mean, I checked into it just to see, you know. So uh, we're I, no. We're, don't confirm that. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not not sure. Maybe, yeah. maybe maybe fool's goal. But no, we were we were very honored to to receive that yeah. too as well. So yep. awesome. Well, well, Tim, I know we got a lot of stuff to talk about. This is going to be a jam packed show, folks. So if you want to know anything about Envision, sit down, grab your popcorn, <laughs> grab a drink because this is going to be a great show. Yeah. So we um, we all know the first question I'm going to start out with. We all know, and and Jason and I. Uh, you know, I remember back when Envision first came out and they never, you know, nobody knew who it was. We were trying to explain the company to everybody and, and y'all really hit the market, uh, with a big splash with your, with your Halo series. But, um, first of all, Tim, um, what makes Envision unique, uh, in the night vision and thermal market? I think we all know the answer, but for all the people out there that have maybe brand new to the industry and learning for the first time, uh, what makes y'all so awesome, man? Yeah, no, I, I, first off, the feeling's mutual, you know, about the award and everything, so thank you guys very much. Um, I guess to, to, to kind of, we've been doing this for about 20 years. We started off in the military and law enforcement uh, world, right, that market. Um, did really well, and about 10 years ago, decided to enter into the commercial market. So the Halos, we started off with the Atlases, and then we introduced the Halo line a few years ago. Um, 
and we just we we make we make high end thermal products and, and you know high end military grade night vision and uh, we we just try to make the best performing products that are available in the commercial market. Mm -hmm. So I guess uh, what makes us unique, you know, because everybody can say that, right? Like we make a great product and uh, you know available in the commercial market. What makes us unique is just the abil our, our ability to listen. So our, our newest products, which I'm sure we'll get to later in the show, uh, our newest products were literally 100% customer feedback. Uh, we took it, ran with it, and made great products that everybody was asking for. So, yeah. And w and when you came into the market uh, on the end user side, and and you rolled out your you know the Atlas and the Halos, y'all were going after the biggest Titan in the industry, you know, and that being Trigicon. And you went in with a, a scope that pretty much and scopes that were direct competitors of what they were doing. And I tell you what, um, I, you know, I, I'm not going to speak for everybody, but uh, Envision, uh, as far as customer feedback and customer calls, mm -hmm. uh, we're he hearing vastly more about Envision products than we are about Trigicon or, uh, you know, some of the higher end stuff. So, I mean, y'all, y'all went after the beast and, uh, you know, I'm not going to say you slayed them, but I think you pretty much, you pretty much have at this point uh, <laughs> in, in the opinions of a lot of people that watch this show. No, I mean, we, we, we try to make a great product, right? You're spending a lot of money on a piece of gear that, uh, you know, you expect to perform. It's got to perform. So and that, that feedback, that customer interaction is, is, uh, it's vital. It's important. It's, it's, it's literally the, uh, uh, the lifeblood of our company. So we, uh, we, we devote a lot of time, energy, resources to, uh, you know, engaging with our customers to the fullest extent. Well, Tim, I think you, you brought up something there that I think is interesting that y'all have been around 20 years. And I think, you know, and, and when I know what Hans meant when he said it, I mean, I know he knows that, but he, he said, you know, when y'all first came in the market, but that's how, that's how you're viewed in the night vision and thermal hunting world, mm -hmm. you know, cause y'all came around when the atlases and the halos, you know, a few years ago. And so, yeah, y'all been around doing your thing, uh, as a very successful company, like you said, law enforcement, military, and then even getting into the consumer end with night vision and stuff. But once you got into the thermal world, that's when you shook things up. Mm -hmm. And that's when you really showed up on the radar of just the average, you know, hunter, hog or coyote hunter out there. And so, uh, I think, since you've and I hope I'm not insulting you, I think I'm. I think you no, agree hey, with that. I mean, that's when y'all really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. No. So. So with that said, um, I, I do think that that's interesting. That that it's something we need to remember and remind people. And I do on the phones because I'll have some guys like, hey, you know, I mean, Envision. I was here. You know, my buddy's got this scope. It's a great product from everything I've seen. Uh, you think they're going to be around? And I'm like. Uh, they didn't just pop up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is yeah, sure. this is not a this is not a new new startup with a little bit of venture capital. That <laughs> no, they've been around twenty years. Yeah. They've been around longer than you have. Yeah, so no. <laughs> no, but with that said, yeah, I mean, you you really have, and and you've got a uh, you came up with these great scopes, and I mean, we, I don't want to just rehash the whole history of the the, the halos and and how they came in, but you know, in twenty twenty, you you had this in my mind a, a fairly laser focus that you were going for you know, with the halos and then uh 2021 has just been like wild card city i mean i know y'all made some announcements it's the end of 2020 but but really for what y'all are coming out with this year all kinds of stuff have changed i know we'll talk about that in a minute but you know what would you say how has your business or, or your focus transitioned going from last year into this year yeah, I mean, the, a bunch of ways, right? So I, I guess um, our, our biggest focus, right, which transcends any year, is we, we want to build incredible products for our customers. That is our focus, right? That's what our, our, en our engineers are paid to do. It's what our technicians are trained on to build, you know, the, the highest end thermal products that we can for the commercial market. And that, that is genuinely our focus. We spend day in and day out, either on the sales side, the marketing side, the engineering side, the building side, Manufacture everything. It's all focused on creating those great products um, and providing a great, you know, customer service. Mm -hmm. As we go into 2021, I mean, it's innovation, right? That's 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 key. We we spent the latter part of 2019 and pretty much all of 2020 building these new products just based off of feedback that we got from all of the uh, the end users, and you know, we we kind of we kind of expanded our product line since since this past fall, um, and you know, we're, we're gonna 
continue to do so. We're going to continue to innovate and create great products that people want, um, you know, that are reliable and perform well. So, that, that, that's the quote. I, 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 I don't have like a, a specific um, you know, tagline yeah. or anything, but the, the well, focus well, is just creating great products. Yeah, products well, products. yeah, there, there, yeah, there, there's been a, yeah, there's been a big transition i mean it's obvious and i know we're, we're probably fixing to get into that and, and all the new things that that y'all have have uh, created and you know for for some folks that are listening to this that you know may not be overly familiar with envision they may have never had the opportunity to hunt with one or look through one i mean i want people to realize who and what we're talking about here uh hans and i and our our, our personal opinions, as we mentioned, alluding to uh, the award that the late night vision show gave them uh, now, you know, two years in a row, we believe that these products are the very best thermal optics that a United States consumer can purchase in their pursuit of hunting coyotes or hogs. I mean, they have the very best image quality. We believe this is the high end uh, optic that you're going to get your hands on. And so I just want to make sure that, that people realize we're talking to, I don't know anything about cars, but I would say uh, this is the Ferrari of thermal. Okay. And I mean that, I mean, this is, and there, that's nothing against the, you know, standard everyday sedan that somebody drives to work or the normal pickup truck, uh, that these, these are just the step above. I mean, and it's not, I'm not saying it's for everybody, but they are awesome optics. And so I'm really excited about, you know, where this is transitioning to. No, and, and I, I like your analogy too, because it's, 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 uh, you know, the more, the, the more sedans that are being sold, the more Ferraris eventually, maybe Ferraris, not the greatest example, but you know, the more <laughs> Cadillacs, uh, what is it? Sold, What's the, the more yeah, Cadillacs yeah, that eventually there get you go. as well, you know, so I would it, say, it's great. It's an expansion of the market. I would definitely say Cadillac, you know, for a number of reasons, because you know, made in the United States. Well, Ferrari's Italian, maybe. Yeah, you know. See, I don't Italian. see there. Yeah, I like screwed it up. Here. I screwed up my, my whole analogy. <laughs> yeah. I tried to be nice. Yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> so, you know, we've, we've, I think you kind of uh, alluded to and talked a little bit about some uh, new optics that y'all announced uh, over late summer, early fall, uh, which was a, a big shock into the industry. And uh, you just announced not that long ago uh, a few more models that you're releasing this year that have completely, um, I guess, you've been able to do the impossible. <laughs> and uh, you've definitely, this is one of the things I know that Jason and I have, have talked about uh, when we were with y'all at the SHOT Show, some of these capabilities that, that you were now able to include in the scope and, and excited about seeing it. And, and I'll stop talking and I'll let you talk about it. But uh, what are the new products for 2021? And, you know, some of the things touch on that you announced at the, you know, in the, in the fourth quarter, of uh, of 2020 but uh new models for 2021 let everybody know what's out and uh, going to be coming out very soon yeah absolutely i appreciate the opportunity to come out here and tell everyone about it so thank you very much mm -hmm. um mm -hmm. I know I, the, so we, we kind of kicked off uh the start of or the end of the last month of quarter three whatever what do, september 1st when we announced the knox and um we have an 18 and a 35 millimeter lens option right so the 18 is absolutely I don't want to say absolutely, but it's definitely geared towards the you know the, the, the user that wants to mount it to their helmet. Um, you got the same great image quality. I would argue even a little bit better than than you know the the, the mm -hmm. old Halo LR. Um, mount it to your helmet. It's small, rechargeable battery option. Mm -hmm. um, you know uh, you have a little bit more refinement that you can do with your zero. Although we have, we do envision it being more of a, a helmet mounted, um, and it's just a great image. I know you guys had some time with it. it mm -hmm. It's crisp. It's crisp. You, I, I, I've had a lot of time with it. You know, we, we've been playing out here in the in the woods of Western Mass, going after coyotes, and uh, it, 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 it's it's a crisp image. Um, Jason so, and I so, said, it, yeah, I'm sorry, that, sorry, Jason and I said that when we saw the Knox 18, we're like, man, this image looks better than even the Halo LRs do, and you know, we all <laughs> know how great those are, and we're like, how the heck yeah. did they do it? in an 18 millimeter lens it's just blown away well, yeah. american magic that's that's the term we're using the term we're using. Uh, there's the answer <laughs> the uh so, so the 18 aside uh the the we then at the same time announced the knox 35 right so that's just mm -hmm. you know it's a it's a little bit um it's, it's a little bit bigger right um it's not so much the unit itself stays the same size so the housing you just have mm -hmm. an extended lens right and it comes out a little bit further in the front, about an inch and a half, and it's definitely if you, you know if you're asking me what kind of customers buying that, 
it's the, the, the user that's looking for something that's a little bit better weapon mounted, um, while mm -hmm. also uses a hand scanner, you know, or, or uh, for a buddy. That kind of, it's not as um, focused as the Nox 18, which is more like just the straight helmet mounted user. So the, right. uh, the 35, it's got a little bit more than twice the native magnification, um, still runs, you know, four to six hours on that one zero or uh, 118650 battery. And it, 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 it's, it's a good unit. Uh, the, the nice thing about the 35 um, or the Knox line, right, is that the mount point on the, for the dovetail adapter on the top is the same for both of them. So you don't, there's, no, there's no adjustment you have to make when you're mounted to a helmet. It doesn't sit further into your eye because you think a 35 is a little bit longer, it's going to be yeah. closer to the eye. That's not the case. It's, it sits the same, the same position on your eye. So it's pretty easy. Actually, I, I've used it as a helmet mounted thermal monocular. It actually works pretty well if you're okay with that magnification, but it's definitely geared more towards weapon mount. Uh, yeah, I guess there, there's three more. Hold on. <laughs> no, sorry. Whatever, whatever question you got. You can. Yeah, I was gonna say. Well, there's so much. Yeah, there's so much to say. There's about more the, than three. The the Nox. There's actually more than three. Yeah, there is more. Than, yeah, um, the Noxes. You know, with the uh, the development of that of being able to use it as a as a thermal monocular. And, you know, especially the Knox 18, which, you know, you can have it without a reticle on it, or if you want to mount on a rifle, you can have a reticle on it. And that's what, you know, Jason, I thought was, man, that's a genius idea of something that, that could be used in either capacity. Uh, and, and again, you're not sacrificing, you, you would think that you're sacrificing image quality because of how much smaller the unit is, but uh, gosh, if anything, it, it's a little bit better. So, uh, you know, now I know what you're about to talk about, and and I'll let you talk. You know, talk about the expanded halos that you're doing. But well, for, uh, <laughs> yes, uh, well, just a, a point about the Knox. Uh, the so it, it, the image quality, right? So um, it, mm -hmm. it's just newer stuff, mm -hmm. better lenses, right? So you're going to get that that increased performance, uh, especially in low contrast situations. And you know, we say ten to fifteen percent of a mm -hmm. better image quality. And that, that number and that uh, comment is going to transcend all of our, awesome. our new products. Awesome. That we're so all of them have the new glass on as well. So. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. So um, if anything with a 35 and a 50 lens, you know, uh, you know, for mm -hmm. our, our coyote hunters that are in the colder places um, where, you know, you got a mm -hmm. less contrast, temperature contrast, you're going to notice there's going to be a noticeable difference in performance. Awesome. Same thing, you know, uh, hot and awesome. days. So. But, uh, yeah, I mean, kind of, sorry, to, to bounce into the, the X line, right? So um, three weeks ago or so, January 18th, we announced the, the Halo X line. And so this was just the, the LR, our, our Halo line on steroids. <laughs> we, again, we, 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 we listened. We, we did, did a lot of research, did a lot of testing, a lot of development, because it, 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 was, it was pretty hard to do, um, so I'm told. Uh, I, I'm, I just sell them, right? I don't have to create them. So, <laughs> But, uh, you, you know, we, we wanted to make a product that um, had all the features that everyone was always asking for um, with, with a better image. So the, we, the Halo X, we have it in a 35, a 50, and then a 50 millimeter lens option with an integrated laser rangefinder. Again, you're going to have that better image quality because mm -hmm. of that improved lens for the 35 and the 50. You have onboard recording, you know, true pixel to pixel recording. So what's what one uh, pixel is picking up is what, or not pixel, but you know what one part of the sensor mm -hmm. is picking up mm -hmm. is what's being recorded. It's be a great, you know, essentially a great image that's recorded. Um, you have uh, Wi-Fi streaming. You also have uh, a, a new feature, which is um, you can make up to an eighth of a minute of angle adjustments in your zero, mm -hmm. minute, right? So it's zoom dependent. So if you're in base mag, each step that you make is going to be one minute of angle. Mm -hmm. As you go two, four, and eight uh, magnification, right? You're going to go half minute angle, quarter minute of angle, eight minute of angle. Okay. So for those uh, coyote guys that are taking shots at, you know, we, we, we target guys pretty regularly that are out over 400 mm -hmm. yards, 500 yards, you know, being able to make that refined adjustment of an eighth of minute angle can, can um, it's a big difference. Yeah. It matters, right? <laughs> uh, they can finally do that. And so, it, yeah. Jason's got a, a million but, questions uh, after those. <laughs> the, <laughs> Yeah, well, then, then I get one more thing outside. I probably I forget this key feature, but um, it, it's got the rechargeable battery setup, right? So two eighteen six fifty batteries, 
that mount on or you know get uh, inserted on the side we have an extra part to the housing where yep. the 1860 batteries go in you get about six to eight hours of runtime out of that okay so so i just want to go over real quick because um the the specs and and i think you know before we're done here we'll kind of just give one last rundown on these models because i know it, i want everybody to be clear but we're not there yet but uh so you got a halo x35 that's going to be a two and a half power then you got a halo x50 that's going to be your three and a half power and then we have the halo xrf that's going to be your three and a half power with the onboard laser rangefinder uh you know integrated into it and uh, all three of those units are going to basically have the same specs of um, the removable, replaceable, rechargeable 18650 batteries, the onboard video recording, and the Wi-Fi streaming smartphone app, correct? Correct, yep. Okay, good. I was making sure I had that. I've been taking notes while you were writing, and I was no, I'm, no, I'm looking I, I, at all this because so there's a lot to there's, get. There's a lot there. there. There's a whole lot. And <laughs> I remember, I remember, I remember when we announced it. I got a phone call. <laughs> Jason called me. Okay, I, let's let's please then put these specs yeah. for me. Where are they? Well, I, and yeah, and, we uh, did. And I, I've called you multiple times. Like I'm still confused. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Text me this. Yeah. So so let's talk about one more thing. I, I said a while ago that there's four scopes, and I, I want to bring this up because I've gotten some questions about it. And uh, uh, I want to let everybody know kind of where this, this falls in. So you had the regular Halo uh, in years past. You've discontinued that. That was a 1.75 power base magnification scope. You've gotten rid of that and you've replaced it with a Halo 35, which is going to be a $6,500 scope, $6,495, I believe. And that's going to be a Halo with the two and a half power magnification, but, and I'm, I'm, I'm saying this, but I want to be sure, and I want to get this out clear for everybody. That optic is essentially the same thing in a different housing than as your Knox 35 that is $300 more. They're the same optic in different housings, true or false? False. I won't give you a political answer. Okay. Oh, man, uh, he ruined it. I could say, well, you know, but no, no, we'll, we'll be straight shooters. So the, the the big difference between the Halo 35 and the Knox 35, right? So the Knox 35, which is that, that uh, one that can be helmet mounted, weapon mounted, and used as a scanner, mm -hmm. it has a rechargeable battery, right? So that 18650 battery, and it has a manual focus. Mm -hmm. right. right. So the Halo, thir oh, the Halo yeah, 35 that. That. is the, 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 reg the Halo LR housing that everyone's kind of accustomed to, comfortable with, the 35 millimeter lens in it. And that's, you know, a, a little bit less magnification, a little bit less reach. Um, that's that's the difference between the Halo LR, Halo 35, right? It's gonna so, essentially look so the same. So hang on, the Halo 35 is not two and a half power? No, no, it, it is, sorry, sorry. Uh, magnifications, I was okay. in comparison to the Halo LR, a little less magnification. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. So, so then what you're saying is, and you're you're right. I did gloss over that. The the Knox 35 manual focus, uh, which I want to bring come back to manual focus in a minute. But manual focus, rechargeable batteries, different housing, but generally the same lens, the same magnification. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Okay. Good. But but I think but but I think you agree with this. And I mean, hey, if a guy wants the, the halo, he's comfortable with that. Perfect. We got the scope for him. But a lot of people are going to gravitate to this Knox because of the smaller size and what have you. But now, if I'm not mistaken on this, um, you were telling me that you really think that this this Knox 35 with this manual focus is going to be a, a good thing. I mean, not just like, oh, it's manual focus. Now I've got, you, you think that's really going to be, be a, a nice feature to have. Yeah. Yeah. I, I do. Uh, I don't have more to say about it than that. But yeah. No, I, I, no, no, no. I, I, I like I, it. I, no, no, I know when we were talking, I think you, yeah, you told me you thought you'd be able to, you know, really touch up, you know, get that super crisp at some longer distance. Yeah, I mean, you, you, the, so the, our, our LRs and our the Halo 25 have always been that fixed, you know, 25 or 10 yep. meters to infinity, right? Um, and, mm -hmm. you know, when you have that manual focus, you just get like that extra layer of crispness. It's something about it. Um, you know, and I, 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 I like being able to do that, you know, especially you got something maybe behind a little bit of brush, you can kind of move around it a little bit. So that, that manual focus, but I mean, um, 
to each their own. You know, some guys are going to like it, some guys aren't. Um, and you know, luckily there's a, a few different products that can satisfy all those needs, sure. wants, and requirements. You, you got a, you got a lot of products now. So, so w what I'm seeing here is let's kind of go back over this list because I mean it, it is a big list. So I want to, I want to hash this out. And again, you, you tell me if I mess something up. So we've got the Knox 18. That's going to be a um, already forgotten. It's a one power, yeah, yeah, one yeah, power one base power. magnification. Yeah, yeah. It's going to be about yeah. All right, good. Okay, sixty one ninety five, six thousand one hundred ninety five dollars. Uh, that's going to be uh, helmet mountable. It's going to be handheld monocular a bull, mm -hmm. <laughs> and it's going to be uh, it's going to be weapons mountable with a with a reticle in it. Okay, Hans and I have already reviewed that on the show, tested that. Then next we have the Knox 35, like you mentioned, same unit with a little bit longer, you know, lens system there, two and a half power, um, and it's going to be six thousand seven hundred ninety-five dollars. And and as you mentioned, you know, again, rechargeable batteries, focusable objective lens. Then we move to those are correct, right? I haven't messed that up. Yep, yep, that's correct. Okay, all right. Now, so and, and and I should say too, Knox 35, same thing. It's three in one, helmet, hand, or rifle. Then we go to the Halo 35, which is going to be uh, weapons mountable. Uh, you know, again, like you said, same body as the Halo LR. It's going to be two and a half power base mag for sixty four ninety five. Uh, I think my consensus is uh, is that most people are just going to move to the Knox 35. I think that's that seems to be where most people are probably going to go there if they want that kind of optic. I think that's that, that's an accurate. Yeah, right. yeah that, that, if you were trying to. You're asking me, is that what we're seeing, yeah. or you know, some feedback we're getting? Okay, yeah, for definitely. Sure. And then we've got that the Halo LR. That's the the 50 millimeter that that's been around that we're all accustomed mm -hmm. to. That's the one that tried that and true. True, keeps winning the awards. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to tell you something about this, folks. It's a it's a 3.5 power base mag. It's 74.95, and I know that one of the concerns that you know anytime something new comes out is is uh, a guy who already owns one of these is like, oh man, you know, now I got this old model and nobody's going to want it. Or, uh, 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 you know, the, the manufacturer, I know y'all got to think about, is anybody going to buy this thing? And for me, I'm like, is anybody going to buy this thing? Uh, they're still selling. I mean, we <laughs> sold another one today. Guys are like, you know, they don't, they don't care about the extra features, the, the recording. They're like, hey, I just want the scope. I want the best image quality. It's tried and true. So, I mean, I'm glad that that thing's sticking around mm -hmm. because it's still going to be a, a good seller and then moving in real quick here and I'll, I'll quit rambling but i just want to make sure everybody's clear on it so we'll go into the new halo x models we got the halo x 35 millimeter two and a half power base mag 74.95 uh, we've got the halo uh base it's, it's, the, it's the halo x 50 but it's like the halo lr if i'm understanding that but the halo x 50 uh 84.95 three and a half power then we have the halo uh, XRF, which is the same three and a half power scope, uh, but it has the laser range finder, ninety four ninety five. So right at ninety five hundred dollars. Again, all of those, all three of the Halo Xs have the eighteen six fifty removable rechargeable batteries, the video recording, and the smartphone app. Did I leave anything out on pricing or any of that? No, no. I mean, a, a couple of things on the X line, right? Sort of new um, updates. But no, that, that was spot on. I mean, uh, hopefully no one in my office listens to this. Otherwise, <laughs> you may get a call, all right? <laughs> We're hiring. Um, no, for, no, hey, I was just trying to not screw on, it up. You're That's supposed all. to make you look good on this, this interview, okay? Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, I, I'll be honest with you. I keep saying this is for the customers. I'm really just trying to get this yeah. straight. That's why I'm scratching yeah. notes. No, I, I, but I'm but seriously, it's a, it's a it's a big line. I mean, you know, you went from it's a couple a scopes to a lot. And, and it, it, I just want to make sure that people, we want to get that confusion out of the way. Yep. So a uh, couple across the X line, right? So it's going to have this, uh, this Wi-Fi streaming capability as well as, um, if there are upgrades that come out in the future, right? We're able to do it remotely, oh, nice. right? We did, we did an upgrade here. We did a software update uh, about, uh, what we'll, we'll call it 16 to 20 months ago for the Halo LR. You know, you had to send your unit in, uh, there was a little bit of a, a, a wait time and you know, uh, you're just lost the time of having the unit, right? Mm -hmm. And, um, mm -hmm. We, we tried to get rid of that again. Another piece of feedback we received from our customers is 
we don't want to send our scope mm -hmm. and to have updates done. Yeah. No, cool. so made that adjustment. Um, also, we so so it has an onboard recording function. It also has a uh, you know, the two eighteen six fifty batteries that give you six eight hours of runtime. But we also still have a um, you know a connection on top of the unit if you want to run like a, a power pack or some type mm -hmm. of recorder off of it. You don't you know our thought is that you don't necessarily need to do that because it has all these other features. But we switched over from our Halo LR, which was that six pin sort of proprietary connection, mm -hmm. which um, you know sort of. We had that 90 degree cable that hook in, so, you know, guys usually wrap it around to an external pack. Um, now it's a USB-C connection that's sort of on the top of the scope. Right. Um, another another change that we made to the Halo X line is previously the LRs, everything was on the left side, right? All buttons, mm -hmm. the whole interface. Mm -hmm. We took that, again, you know, there's there's some south paws out there that didn't like that. We we yeah. moved those buttons up top, you know, a little bit more user friendly depending on how you want to set it up. Yeah, awesome. So a little bit more. Well, geared uh, towards anyone. Yeah, forever. that's awesome. And, and those improvements are definitely things that were demand. I'm, I'm most excited, obviously, about the internal video recording uh, and your ability to do that. Um, I mean, and, and something that uh, nobody else has done is is a, a big deal. But um, the, also the rechargeable batteries, you know, going to the 18650s, rechargeable, uh, you know, you can buy them anywhere. They're not expensive. And, and that, you know, being able to do that and not, you know, making a pro, uh, proprietary battery uh, and, and having to deal with that and sell that, you know, huge improvements. Um, but I'm ready to get some, you know, be able to get some really good video with those halos. That's a, an accurate depiction of what you actually th see through the scope because the halo LRs, uh, as fantastic as fantastic as they are, you could never really do the scope justice by just using a, a you know the external MDVR recorder. Uh, and now you know we've started to see some videos come out with the the Halo Xs, and the video uh, quality from those scopes looks really really good. It's, it's probably the closest thing obviously that I've seen through looking through the scope itself. So I'm uh, very excited about. Uh, those those two features more than anything, and on top of that is the laser range finder. But I know all the coyote hunters are really excited about that as well. Yeah, no, I, I mean we're, we're super pumped about it. It was, um, you know, if it, if it had been easier, we would have done it sooner, right? Um, <laughs> yeah. I, uh, I but uh, but no, I mean it, absolutely. You know, the everyone can go out there and, and create high quality content, and, and you know, mm -hmm. um, you don't have to worry about anything attaching to your unit. It's just yeah. a scope on your gun. You got batteries. Mm -hmm. You're out all night. Um, no questions asked. As for the yep. the laser range finder, we were uh, you know we're, again another thing we're excited about. There's a lot of things for us to be excited about, but um, that was kind of we, we took that out here. Um, had a lot of success with that, and you know it, right, right now it's um, you know, we're going out to a thousand meters reliably. So nice. you know these guys, we I've received some phone calls from guys, you know. As long as you know your hold, you can get something off you know, using the LR, right? If you know how far they are, you got your hold, you're good. Um, mm -hmm. With those guys, I'm looking forward to this year. You know, some I've had some calls, low 500 to mid 500s. I'm, I'm looking for nice. guys to start pushing six, seven hundred yards. You know, if, if, as long as they're able to identify it reliably. So, which you know, that new and improved lens, they should be able to. Yeah. So, don't shoot your neighbor's dogs out there, folks. <laughs> Make sure you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> At least you'll know how far he is. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I better move on. I want to say something here, you know, as, uh, you know, as we get closer to, to wrapping this, I, I want to say that in 2020, which seems like a, a lifetime ago now, <laughs> um, actually doesn't seem that long ago in some ways when we sat down and, you know, at the booth there in Vegas, uh, you know, we met with you, Tim, and, and the owners of Envision, and we're sitting down with them. And one of the questions was, you know, uh, what can we do to get, you know, you know, Hans and Jason using more of our products in the field? We're like, well, we're already using them. Yeah, but we want to see more content. And when we were like, well, we want to produce more content. We said, we need internal video recording. Every single thing Hans and I do, we record. Okay. I mean, if we can't record it, uh, what good does it do? We're in the business of creating content uh, that in turn uh, hopefully sells scopes. So, uh, and don't get me wrong. I know we could use the, the MDVRs externally, the LPMRs from different things, but Hans and I were just never happy with any of those. Because, and the reason why, 
I didn't think it did the scope justice. Mm -hmm. I just, yeah. I look at it and I'm like, okay, that looks good, but it doesn't look near as good as the scope. And so we said, you get us some way to, you know, record internally, or, or I don't care if it's externally, but it looks good. It looks like the scope and we'll definitely be using the product more. And the day that, you know, you called me and, and told me about this, uh, I hung up and I said, well, Hans, we're fixing to be using some some Envision products in 2021. Get ready because y'all held up your end of the deal and I am super pumped. I know Hans is. Mm. We're excited to start using these things and we're ready to get out in the field with yeah, them. Yeah, one, uh, one of those XRFs is for me, Tim. And, you know, you just go ahead and send that bill over to Jason. <laughs> Gladly. I'm glad this yeah, is I've, I've, cool. I've got it. All I can afford is the... Uh, the, the yeah. I, I can only use, I'm only going to be able to afford the, uh, the Halo X35 model because, uh, my, my employee needs the, uh, XRF. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, but we're excited about it. No, they're, they're yeah, they're, you know, um, they're, they're, they're good quality units, right? They're high performance. We, uh, we're in, in enthusiastic for the year, right? It's only just beginning. 2020 was a little crazy, um, you know, Anyways, so uh, you know, the fact that we were able to have something ready to go, get shipped out, ha have people using them, um, they incorporate a lot of the, the, the most common pieces of feedback you receive. We're, we're, we're real happy and excited about it. We're, you know, we're, um, That's great. We're, we're ready to start shipping these things out. Well, so. well let me ask this question. So uh, yeah. if people want to find you, um, hopefully if they want to find your scopes, they, they know they can go to outdoor legacy and find those, but if they want to find envision and they want to follow y'all on social media, they, they want to, you know, go to your website, what is it, where do they need to go? What's the best place to stay in touch with what y'all are doing and seeing the content that y'all are sharing out there? So, yeah, of course, all, all of our social media, you know, our Instagram page, Facebook, um, also just calling. We, uh, we, we, we love taking calls, right? Um, from, from customer yeah. service to, to uh, you know, pricing questions to new products to, uh, you know, a a anything that's a, an interaction with the customer. Um, you know, even some of those negative phone calls, we, we love taking. <laughs> so I, I always encourage people, you know, we get a lot of inbound stuff. We really do. Um, we're always encouraging people to call us because, you know, we, we just love having that one-on-one -on -one engagement. We do. Genuinely. I mean, just you know, sometimes it, it can eat into your day. You know that about that. And I know, uh, Jason, I know I'm a time burglar. I think we are both uh, partners in crime on, on that end. We're both time burglars. We are. Uh, we'll we'll, we we'll are. talk all day. <laughs> I know that for a fact. That's right. I see, That's right. I see, uh, I see uh, you know, Outdoor Legacy pop up on the phone. <laughs> I think caller ID. I'm like, oh, I better clear off the next 45 you know, minutes and maybe go grab a margarita <laughs> and sit down. What's uh, funny is about that is you're not the only guy in the industry that says that about Jason. I think we've identified yeah, a, a character trait here. Uh, yeah, I, I want to be clear on something. Yeah. Let's 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 ask how many times that that Tim has called me and I've hit my little auto deal on my cell phone that says, "Sorry, I'm on the phone right now. I can't talk." I mean, and and I have to like text him at nine o'clock at night and go, "I'm really sorry. We haven't talked, and you've called me every day for a week." <laughs> you know, I, I will I, 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 I will customers. say this. Um, I, I, it was like April 11th or 12th, so my wife had just had our third child. Right, I got a phone call from Jason. You know, the first thing he said was, he's like, how's the baby? Yeah. So, you know, I, I, I don't mm -hmm. mind taking those calls it, 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 instead yeah, of somebody, yeah. you know, um, perhaps not asking as nice of a question. <laughs> so I, you know, I, I prefer yeah. those phone calls. Yeah. So. Absolutely. So he said, how's, we'll, your, he we'll said, how's your baby? Where's my scopes? Is that how it went? <laughs> where's, yeah, my where's my scopes? <laughs> how's, how's your They're baby? Coming. My They're customer coming. needs right. a halo. My wife's in labor right now. Give me a yeah. break, man. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that that is that is hilarious, uh, man. I've I've got a story I have to tell on the podcast sometime about my wife being in labor in a, <laughs> in a, a th thermal business related. That'll be a good one. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, Tim, we we want to thank you for coming on the show. Uh, I tell you, I'll, I'll it's been you know something a learning experience for me again trying to put all this together and and you know uh, keep up with it. So so I know that that I'm excited about 2021 what it holds for for. Uh, Envision and the whole industry. And I'm going to reiterate this again, because we've said this on a lot of our shows, but I know, you know, there's some people that'll just watch this show, maybe and I've seen of others. 
There's guys right now that are listening to this and they're saying, this is for a bunch of rich kids. This isn't for me. Uh, I don't have six, seven, eight, nine, ten thousand $10,000 to buy this stuff. So this was a waste of my time. And, you know, there's a little bit of that burn. Like, I, I, what, what is this doing for me? Well, here's the thing, folks. I keep saying this. Hans and I have preached this. Uh, this kind of stuff may not be for everybody. You know, $4,000 scopes may not be for everybody. $2,000 scopes may not be. But here's the thing. Every single time you see one of these high-end scopes get new features and improve, what that means is, is that the industry has just taken a step forward. Mm -hmm. And that technology trickles down. And it's going to trickle down into some of the other manufacturers as maybe they're honestly striving to catch up with Envision. And then that trickles down. And over time, what you've got is you're going to have a $2,000 scope uh, that used to be a $5,000 scope. And we, we've already seen that. We've seen that in this industry. So it excites me when companies like Envision uh, continue to in it to innovate and to strive to improve their product because you know whether they're necessarily intending it or not it does trickle down and it trickles over time that technology goes all the way down and while you may not believe it and you may not see the results next week there's somebody that is going to buy a $1,995 scope in a few years that, or maybe next year, that is going to be better than you could have ever imagined because the top end just got better and everything flowed down. Mm. So I am, I'm super excited for what y'all are doing. Y'all are a great company. I, it, it's it, no, it, not to belabor the point, but yeah, absolutely. Like there's, there's a, there's a level of expectation that comes from, you know, spending $7,500 on a scope, right? You expect quality, you know, responsive customer service. You expect to have a high performing unit. You expect to have somebody pick up the phone on the other line and, and to talk to you when you're having issues, you know. Mm -hmm. I think, uh, I know we've always sort of uh, advertised and put out there our warranty, right? Like we, we push five year warranty. You call us for five years, we will cover that bad boy for yeah, for anything that happens, bumper to bumper, right? You know, you, you give us a call, by the time it gets to us, it's back to you, you know, it's out of our office within three days. That's, that's our pledge, right? Um, you, it, it, that's that's the expectation, right? And that, that stuff kind of trickles down. Mm -hmm. You know, you see other uh, warranties sort of, uh, or mm -hmm. other, other companies coming out with great warranties, great products, other, you know, all these other things. So, yeah. <clears throat> no, I, I, I'm with you. And I'm going to tell you something, folks. We've had a lot of manufacturers on this show over the years, and we'll have a lot more, hopefully. Uh, I've never had a manufacturer before today say, uh, call us. We want to talk to you. Call us. I mean, that's, uh, I, I mean, I say that every week. Han says that, you know, call Outdoor Legacy. You know, Jason, I'll be glad to talk to you, whatever. And there are times when we are swamped and I'm working till seven o'clock calling people back. I'm like, hey, Hans, maybe we shouldn't give the phone number next week. You know, yeah. I mean, maybe that's a bad idea. There's those, so you know, there's those so. weeks. And Jason <laughs> says, call us. Yeah, exactly. Jason says, call exactly. us. And we so, get 300 calls the next day. And he's like, uh. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, I should not have said that. But, but seriously, for, for a manufacturer to say that, I think it, it means a, a lot. It's impressive. It, it does show, you know, your level of customer service and I can tell you this uh, the things that I've seen y'all do uh, like you say in this timetable of turning things around quickly uh, it's it's been phenomenal I, I've I've sold a lot of Envision products we've we've to be honest with you there's been very few problems and I'm not just saying that because you know Tim's on the line it's true there have been very few problems uh, most of the problems have been minor and it's been phenomenal, you know, how quick you have turned those things around. So this you, is uh, this is not just empty talk from from a salesman. Yeah, no. I, 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 you know, I would be saying if it, uh, yeah, uh, for sure. Um, you, you, earlier, one of the questions was focus, right? So I, I, I come from a, a different industry, right? Um, and, and sort of transitioned into to this industry a little over uh, about a year and a half ago. Um, the last, I, I worked in sports, right? And in sports, you're in front of your customers, well, on, on, at least on a on a game by game basis, if not daily, right? So you have a ton of interactions, <laughs> and uh, you know they're sort of hard to avoid because they show up, they bought tickets, they're there. Um, with with this, especially with the um, the no shot show show or the no shot show this year, right? All that being canceled, it, it, it's very it's very hard to you know um, create those those personal connections, those those relationships. 
and talk to people on, on a more personal level. Um, so I, I've learned like you, the amount of time you get to interact with people is very limited in this industry. So you better make the most mm -hmm. of it, and that is absolutely mm -hmm. true. You go to you go to a lot of other sales jobs or a lot of other industries. You have more FaceTime. You have more um, time on the phone. Everything here, you got to make your time count. So we get customers. That's why I say call us. Please call us. We are absolutely happy to talk to you. We want to talk to you. We want your feedback. We we want you to tell us what you would like us to improve or what you like. You know, we'll take those calls too. If you got some positive feedback, you know, some positive reinforcements in our way, we'll take it. Yeah. Uh, but no, call us anytime. Man, you've heard it here first, folks. Uh, this has been uh, an honor for us to have Tim. And uh, we want to say thank mm -hmm. you to, uh, you know, Max and all the guys over at Envision for all the hard work, and the uh, uh, dedication to customer service, quality, uh, and all those things. And so uh, thank you to all them uh, for letting you come on the show and represent them and, and the brand. And we are, uh, again, thankful to have you folks. Uh, you heard them. If you're interested in Envision product, uh, you know where to find them. If you've got questions that, you know, maybe it's it's something that, that you think Hans or I can't answer, or, you know, something you want to talk to them directly, you want to hear about their warranty, you want to hear something from them and get that assurance, whatever it is, uh, you know, give them a call. Uh, as Tim said, you can check them out on social media. Uh, they've also got, you know, their, their website you can find there. Uh, anything you need, they are out there. Same thing with Hans and I. You can find the Late Night Vision Show uh, by going to thelatenightvisionshow.com. And from there, you can find all of our links to social media and all of our past episodes. You can always find Hans at Hans ETX on YouTube and Instagram. And if you're looking for any kind of night vision or thermal, especially Envision products, go to outdoorlegacygear.com or call us at 877 350 one eight one eight all righty and that's been episode 145 of the late night vision show stay tuned because as soon as we get our halo x's in we will be creating a ton of content we'll be using them for a long long time and uh, like jason said you can check that out on all of our socials and youtube channels uh, thank you all again. We will be seeing you again. Um, I don't know what we're going to do next week, but we're we're gonna. It's going to be awesome. Uh, we don't know, but it's going to be awesome for sure. Uh, we will see y'all next Thursday. Stay safe in the fields and keep making them bacon pan pancakes. <laughs>